All right. Oh, that is delicious. Fuck, I love tea. How are we, everybody? What is happening? Sorry about what happened before. I just had to figure out a few things with my live. And we are now live. Okay. Happy days. Happy days. I'm just going to get up the chat. Hey. Hey. Hi. Sup. What's up, guys? What's cracking? Pop out chat. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's get stuck into it. I'm going to put you guys there. What tea is it? <laughs> Straight up with the questions. Alana. Hey. Uh, it's just normal um, English breakfast. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. I think so. Not the biggest tea uh, person, but that's okay. All right. So. First of all, before we get stuck into all of this, can you guys hear me very well? Can you guys hear me? How's the audio? That's all right, Chris. Uh, what's up, Chris? Bruh, I'm studying Latin. Haha. <laughs> all right, just that before we go, Alpha is in the chat, which we love. We're going to mod Alpha because Alpha is a G. All right, so... Can you guys hear me well? Is the uh, audio good? I hope so. If it's not, good audio. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. That's all I need to know. You guys can see me as well. All right, great. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be vectorizing some landscapes. Now, I've never ever vectorized landscapes before. Uh, this is an image that a friend of mine, Tom Noski, took, and he is an absolutely amazing photographer. Uh, I am so excited to be doing this because I've never done it before. And this is going to be the artwork that separates my old feed to my new feed and whatever I do up the top. So, but the but the ba. I am going to show you guys what I'm thinking and you guys can let me know. Hey, Rafael, he's back. Awesome. You guys can let me know what you guys think uh, before we just get stuck into it all and just vectorize, vectorize, vectorize. Alrighty, where is it? Uh, oh, you guys will be able to see how I actually lay out my, um, my feed as well. This is how I make it. Alrighty. Uh, videos, sorry guys, I just gotta find it. It's called InstaFeed. Inst Inst Instagrid, Instagrid. I've got so many files on my computer, so I'm funny. Alright, let's check this out. I'll just open up. Alrighty, so this is how I lay it out, guys. Oh, fuck. How do I get mod, Nikki Nine, mate? You gotta you gotta participate in the uh, in the chat just a little bit more. You can't be coming around and expecting to be moderated, sir. Alrighty, so this is how I lay out my feed. This was the finishing, and this is what I'm thinking of doing for the next. The red won't be here. This will just be white. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of vectorizing it like this. So this will be one, and then I'll have I'll have new feed. Yeah, It'd be like new feed, and that will be like obviously, obviously, it's not going to be like that. It'll probably look a little bit nicer, but and be a better font. But that is what I'm thinking, and we'll vectorize the background. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, it, it is, it is, it is Tom Noski. <laughs> Tell us a joke. All right, um, <clears throat> there was this pandemic once and it killed a lot of people. Alrighty, let's go straight to it. Bro, I love how you sit on your chair. Yeah, I have a few different positions. I sit in my chair a lot throughout the day and it, 
definitely needs to be swi switched up, otherwise I will go crazy. Alrighty, so, if most of you know, this is how I create. I create two different windows. So, one records uh, the artwork being made, and this is going to be the artwork page. And the other one records me. Alright, so... Yeah, that's a cool idea. I think it will look amazing. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Haha, <laughs> bruh. Alright, bruh. Alright. Nikita, you're acting like you're not edgy, man. Okay, so I'm glad you guys like the idea because I also like it. It's very different, but you know what? What we're going to be doing is going to be so different anyways. So, um, without further ado... Let's just copy everything here. And then we're going to make some artboards that, because you have to get this perfect. If you don't get the artboards right, then you're in trouble. So the artboard width is going to be 1080, and then the height's going to be 1350. And that is what an Instagram portrait artboard size looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy these across three ways. Um, and yep that's right now i'm just going to double check you see how like it snaps to grid oh it's not snapping to the grid okay that's snapping to the grid like i bring it closer and then it just should just that's that's on top now alrighty you'd hope so otherwise when i do this it's not going to um okay so this is what we've got in store now we'll get rid of this. We don't need that. So the squares demonstrate. Um, hey Sam, what's up, brother? Um, the squares demonstrate what you see on the grid. Okay. Obviously, when you post portrait, Instagram crops it when they're displaying your grid on the on your feed, unless you go into the photo and then you look at it portrait. So. Uh, What's going to happen now is I'm basically creating that squareness. That squareness, yeah. Good English. And we'll just make sure that's directly in the center. How I like to do this is if I drag a box like that, and then I copy and paste this same box, they should be the exact same size. Yeah, there you go. Fits perfectly in paste. All right. So now we've got our square. What we're gonna do is obviously enlarge this. Now, what I'm thinking is have this red area to actually just be white. So that when I have my border, it's actually like the, you've, when you see it in the feed, you've got a white border around your artwork. Um, so that if I go back to here, uh, yeah. So you won't see this stuff here. I'll, I'll just draw on it. You won't. Oh, it's white, really. Uh, you won't see this stuff here. You will see this, and you will see this, but this here is going to be white. And then obviously this will be vectorized. So, that's the plan. What's everyone saying? Uh, actually, don't worry, I've already seen it. It's got a nice curve, in my opinion. Bruh. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikita, to be honest. Yo, 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 yo. Sam says, uh, not much, man. I just got back from work and was looking for something to do to chill before bed. This seems not bad. Yeah, bro. Jump in the live stream. I just make some, um, I just make some art and <laughs> because I make my art anyways, sometimes I like to just jump on live and just create with the people that want to join in. Uh, we've had a few really successful live streams before and, uh, yeah, people got involved. I had a great time hanging out. People got to learn stuff about me. And yeah, we made some cool art. So I'll probably only be doing a live stream for like maybe two hours tonight, um, two and a half hours, but we'll see how we go. I'm just setting up my recording software now. So I use OBS uh, to record some shite. Uh, so that's gonna record my screen over here. Um, and then I'm going to use an inbuilt screen recorder to record the same window, but it's going to be on my other screen. Oh, 
I need to put this over here. Fuck. The thing is, the problem with, with streaming is I've just got so much stuff open at the same time. It's crazy. It's crazy. Alright, we got OBS, we got that, we got dish, we got dish, we got that. Alright, this is gonna come over here. I'm gonna put that there. Cheers from Sweden. Hey. Hey, we've got a few more people in the chat. I'm so keen for the end result. It is good. When did you start learning how to use Adobe Illustrator? I've been using Adobe Illustrator since uh, year 10. I jumped on the software and I started teaching myself how to use it. And I've been using it ever since. So what's that like? Probably like coming up to five, six years. All right. Uh, it is good. When did you start learning? Okay, there you go. I don't understand a single thing. That's okay. I can teach you. Uh, world best speed cuba belongs to your city. Didn't know that. Uh, I don't know what to do playing F1 or watching you. Watch me. Uh, choose from Sweden. Hi. Uh, what do you expect the time to complete this? I'll probably complete this. Oh, fuck. It really depends how much time and effort I put into it. I can't see myself going too crazy. But I also want to do a good job. I'll probably give it about six, seven hours. Uh, when did you start learning to use AI? I think I answered that already. Um, and all the way from Pakistan, awesome. This will be vertical or horizontal? Vertical. There's three different posts here, Alpha. One, two, three. So that's going to be a square, that's going to be a square, and that's going to be a square, and they're all going to connect. All right, so I really like how the I want to keep the beach in the corner here, and then I want it to, I, I like how there's sand, land, and ocean and then you get a really nice kind of color within the sky. You've got blue, pink, a little bit of purple over here, yellow and orange, and then obviously the sun's set, it's setting over there. I am sad I can't get this kind of color up here, but yeah, because it's a portrait image, I kind of have to um, just cop the L. What I think I might do is I might uh, vectorize this little dude as well and just put him there. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Or maybe like put them just there on the sand. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Let's get, let's get into it. So. All right. We're going to start recording. Okay. We'll s Sorry guys. I just need to make sure that everything is set up properly. So I like to create uh, a new layer before I do everything and uh, take away the back layer on this. I'm gonna zoom all the way. You guys can't see my other screen, but um, I'm, I screen record on that screen as well. Just to make sure that, yeah. Alrighty, that's ready. I'm going to get this going and we'll just get straight into it. You guys know the routine if you guys were watching my live stream last time. This is called Illustrator 3, 2, I think. Yep, done. All right, we'll record. Not that. I'll get to all your questions in a second. With that. All right, we'll start, start recording this. And we'll start recording this. Alrighty. Recording isn't working. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Game clip recorded. Sorry guys, uh, my recording screen is not working for some reason. What if we try to record this? And then, hmm, interesting. What's everyone going on about? No, 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 I'm not working tomorrow. I'll get to your questions in a second, guys. I'm just trying to figure out why my screen recordings aren't working. Maybe I just should delete some stuff. I do have a lot of hours recording stuff.
while I do this, we'll have a look at the chat. What's the chat saying? Bring you guys over here. Hop on card. <laughs> Donovan wants me to hop on card. Oh, I'm just deleting some files. Geez, they're big files. Right, that should save up a little bit of space. Right, that's recording there, ladies and gentlemen, and oh, why is that happening? Wait, Chris, you play COD? Yes, I do, I do. Hey guys, how are you? Everyone that's new in the chat. How are you guys? Yeah, it can work. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out why this is not working. Um, add a new display. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this one can... Sorry, I'm just um I'll get some I'll get some music going as well. Last time I had some music going though, um Yep, perfect. Alright, that's good. Alright, that goes there. Alright, we'll see if we can get this recording going. Why is that? Sorry, can you see the game clip? It's just not wanting to record. Oh. Do we just cop the L? Alright, well it seems to be recording now, so maybe I'll just maybe I just won't jump off the uh it seems like when I click on anything anything else it just stops the recording. So I'll keep that in mind. Uh both recordings seem to be happening right now. So I've got this screen recording here and then I've got another screen to my left, which is recording uh the same artwork, but you can't see the artwork and it's fixed. So what you'll see is just me slowly drawing stuff in. Alrighty, let's go straight into it. Um, probably go for like, right now. Before I get into this kind of stuff, I do. I I am recording with OBS. I'm using um maybe yeah that's what I thought. I thought it didn't have enough space. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me just catch up with this. Okay, so we've got uh, Nikki Nine. Hi, I'm from your mum. What? Age of Dad. What the fuck? X D. That was rich, sorry. Um, what's your thoughts on the society situation with COVID-19? What keeps you motivated? Oh, holy shit. You guys have been asking questions. How are you? Well, I'm not for you. are you working tomorrow? So no, I'm not working tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll go through them slowly whilst I do this. Um, uh, Alana says, do you take breaks in, in between the portions of vectorizing you do? I find when I draw something digitally, I spend a while and I end up starting to hate it. Uh, I do take small breaks, but like they're not not like huge breaks. I try to when I when I'm when I'm vectorizing stuff. I try to um like really focus on what I'm doing and when I'm in the mood. I uh, like I usually go for hours. This isn't going to be a huge live stream though. Uh, this will most likely be uh, only like a couple of hours. That's alright. It's okay. I'm gonna lock this layer. Alrighty, um, we go down. Uh, willing to wait, CK from Philippines. Don't know what that means. What's your thoughts on the society situation with COVID-19? What keeps you motivated? Officer Alex Xander RRP asks. Uh, like honestly, whatever has to be done so that I can just go drink some beers with my mates, 
has to be done. That means I have to stay home and make content. Uh, and I don't have a choice about it, no worries. It really doesn't affect content creators like, like myself, to be honest. It's actually kind of perfect for us. Um, like everyone's obviously at home making content. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's an interesting color that it decided to pick there, didn't it? It will change it to RGB. Um, oh, Rishi. Hey, hey, Rishi. How you going, bro? Good to see you, man. From a house party. Yeah, me and Liam have been jumping on a house party here and there. Oh, this is going to be hard because it's... There's so much um, detail. Like, I don't want to get trapped into just doing, like, the leaves and sticks. Like, that's just not what I'm here for. I, I, like, I've made... I've, I'm making a conscious effort to just be a little bit more, like, chill with my vector art. I'm not trying to, like, always go over the top. Um... Sup, dude, love your content. Little Red Wombat, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Check the source. CK, oh my god, you're live. Yes, I am. What do you do uh, as a job, my friend? Not talking about your graphic design. Um, Chris Newman asks. Sorry, guys, you guys are uh, going off in the chat. Did, I, did not expect this. Um, so, Chris, I am a... I will get to everyone's questions, by the way. So, if you want to keep asking them, uh, feel free. Um, Chris, I used to work at EB Games, which is like a game store, used to sell computer games, basically. And, um, yeah, that's where I made a little bit of pocket money. Uh, I've done other things. Um, where else have I worked? I've worked part of my dad's pharmacy. Uh, I've worked, uh, like little jobs here and there. Uh, but I've mainly been a graphic designer. I've done soccer coaching before as well. Uh, but yeah, coming out of school, I started freelancing pretty quickly. Just because like, I'm the kind of person that just does what I want to do. And if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it well. However, if I do want to do it, I will do it well. So um, yeah, I kind of just play to my strengths. And graphic design, obviously, I love it. So... I tried to f start freelancing as soon as I could. Thank you so much for the tutorials. Dude, I'm so glad to be able to provide you guys with as much content as I can. And if that means teaching you how I do what I do, then so be it. You guys want to learn it? Of course. And that's why I started the challenge. I really want everybody to be participating in this challenge because why not? Let's get around Adobe Illustrator. I know, you know, I feel like everyone just resorts to Photoshop, but Illustrator's the best. It's a really cool software. Yeah, man, he plays COD. Yeah, I've been playing uh, a little bit of COD with Liam here and there. Sup, dude, love the content, keep it up, thanks, bro. All right, maybe, have I gone up? What kind of music do you listen to in your free time, Bruce asks. Um, so, I listen to uh, a lot of techno, actually, a lot of melodic techno, a lot of house, but yeah, I've really been into my techno recently. Um, I do like that kind of music. Now, this is good because the shapes actually aren't... Like, the sand is easy. So, as you can see, I'm just using big shapes for the sand. Don't really need to, like, overcomplicate it too much. Just to make my life harder. Um, and, like, as I said, this is just to break up my feed between what I did, what I did and what I'm going to do. Uh... And so it doesn't need to be extravagant. I just wanted to make something that was colorful and really kind of like, yeah, I just wanted to try to try to a landscape. Why not? Like if you're going to, um, if you're going to post across, across three different posts to break up your feed, why not do a landscape? Landscapes are usually landscape. You know what I mean? Um, try to record with OBS. Yeah, I tried that kind of stuff. Um, nice pick. Did you take it? Uh, Matthew, no, I didn't take the picture. Uh, my friend Tom Noski did. He will join the chat soon, I'm sure. Uh, he's an amazing photographer. Watching from the Philippines. Hell yeah, thanks, bro. Hey, man, thanks for the tutorial. Pleasure. I really hope that you guys participate in the competition. Um, alrighty, I think I've caught up. If I've missed anybody's questions, feel like uh, please feel free to put them down there. 
Uh, everyone's turning into BCS. I'm really bored and like your content. Tuning in uh, because, okay, because you're really bored and you like your content. Vincent Van Schependom. Thank you, bro. I'm, I'm thinking about vectorizing an F1 car. Bro, give it a crack, man. I think it would be very interesting. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, interesting, obviously, um, an F1 car is quite detailed. But if you could, if you could nail it, mm, I'd love to see that, bro. Uh, Age of AD asks me, why did I start YouTube? Can we get Illustrator for free? Sorry, I'll just let him know this. Yes, you can. Illustrator has a th free 30-day trial uh, if you haven't downloaded their stuff before. And so uh, give that a shot if you want to use it. Otherwise, uh, if you have already used a 30 free 30-day 30 trial, then you have to buy it, unfortunately. Um, I wish I could give it to everybody, but I cannot. I cannot do that. I wish I could. Let me see. Should we just do the sand first? Fuck, it goes all over there though. Oh, fuck it. Let's just do it. Um, the sky will be interesting. I reckon these trees will be hard. I reckon I'll spend the most time on the trees. That's why I just want to get the sand done out of the way. And then I reckon we'll do the trees. Yeah, like this stuff. Just This just big shapes. Big shapes for this kind of stuff. It's all one color. It's all one color. All right. Uh, what else we got? So why did you start YouTube? Age of AD asks me. Um, well, I started YouTube because my friends inspired me. I have some really, really cool friends who do photography. Uh, you might know them. Uh, Liam, uh, Hayden, Mike. And I also have a friend called Riley who doesn't do photography, but he is a YouTuber also. And we all do their YouTube. Now, they inspired me to do it because, well, I've been doing Instagram for such a long time and I figured, uh, why not use the platform that allows me to explain and show people what I love doing the most? And that's why I started doing it because I felt like I was very limited with the content that I could push on, uh, on Instagram and uh, yeah, I just decided to make one and yeah, look, it's been going good so far. Like obviously when I started my YouTube channel, I uh, began to hold, like I, I put more pressure on myself to create more content. Obviously making videos is a lot longer than making videos about artwork is a lot longer, it takes a lot longer than just making artwork and then posting it to Instagram and um, uh, yeah, so Holding myself accountable is a really good way, I find, to make me productive and make me do things. Um, and so, yeah, uh, YouTube was just another form of accountability that I put myself on. And I'm really enjoying it. It's really rewarding being able to talk to you guys, go live and just make stuff. And it's really awesome to teach you. I really can't wait to grow, uh, hopefully, and, and see more people using Adobe Illustrator and creating cool vector art and finding their own style and basically going down the path that I went down, you know. What else have we got? Uh, what's your favorite vector design you've made? Bruce asks. Uh, oh, am I skipping? I feel like I'm skipping. Okay, uh, so I've answered why did you start YouTube. I tried doing AI because I saw what you did and I can't stop doing it. Str I can't stop doing not straight lines. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. You mean by that, like, um, like obviously doing this kind of straight line vector art is very uh, repetitive, and yeah, obviously, it's very straight. It's very linear. Uh, it's if you're saying it's addicting, then yeah, I would agree. It is addicting. I really like doing this kind of style because you can you can do your artwork really quick. Um, and so yeah, I would have to agree with you on that one. What else have we got? Um, oh fuck yeah I figured out I figured out why it stops recording it's because um, I'm clicking on other I'm clicking on somewhere else which isn't meant to happen but wait let's try this oh you 
Alright, well that didn't work again. Not sure why that's happening, I might restart my computer later on, but as for now, I figured out what worked. Alright, this works. If I don't click on anything else, if I just use Illustrator, it will continue recording. Alrighty, so, um, uh, I tried doing AI because I saw what you did, yep, read that. How are you? Mythic Shots, uh, I'm great bro, how are you? Thank you for asking. Uh, hey, from, I'm from Switzerland and I enjoy your content very much. Oh, that makes me so happy, man. Like, dude, like, hearing that people watch my shit from other places on the world is just, like, it's such a crazy concept. I know it's so, like, easy to understand nowadays because, like, obviously, everyone uses, um, everyone uses the internet and it's so, like, oh, yeah, you can, you can use the internet for everything. But, like, I don't know. I think I think it's the the fact that like people are enjoying my content from the other side of the world. Uh, it just means a lot. It is it is a really cool feeling. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Um, so uh, yeah, Bryce Rop now asks, "What's your favorite vector design you've made?" I've got a few that I really really enjoy make that I really enjoyed making. Um, recently, the ones of the boys that I made, like the one of Lamon was sick the one of um mike i really liked the colors in that one as well uh the one with hayden was also dope as um uh i've also done some older stuff like the cheetah that i've made uh was really really fun to make i made that on a wacom tablet as well which is cool um and yeah overall like um I've had some really cool ones, but yeah, the style that I've definitely picked up recently is uh, probably like, I would say like up there with my favorite work at the moment. It does change though, as I create more stuff. I can't wait to see what I create uh, in the future. Okay, ooh, send me two. Uh, so for everyone in the chat right now, I don't know how many people there are. Alpha, could you tell me how many people in the chat? I just wanna let you guys know that um. Uh, I've got a competition running at the moment, which I just announced today, if you've seen my recent video. And um, it's basically, it basically uh, encourages you guys to go and vectorize something. So doing what I'm doing right now, listen to some music. Uh, I know we're all in isolation, so let's just take the time to create something or do something new. Uh, and yeah, uh, I just would like to encourage everyone in the chat right now to participate. If you win, I will personally vectorize something uh anything for you and uh yeah i will spend at least 10 hours on it so it can be a photo of your dog it can be a photo of your mum, your dad uh it can be your favorite soccer player anything absolutely anything you find a photo i'll vectorize it for you and that's what the winner gets but it's not about winning anyways to be honest it's more about the competition's more about just getting out there creating some cool stuff and um yeah, just building a community, I guess. Okay, there's 26 people in total. 27 people watching. Last time I did this, which was like, I swear to God, like two weeks ago, I had like three. <laughs> so, um, I know 27 is not a huge number. Like Liam and obviously they, they're a lot bigger. They've got 100, but hey. Hey guys, how are you going? Thank you for watching my content. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think I should get some music going. I think. Well, I can't click off this thing. I might. I might vectorize for another half an hour or something. Hey Simon, how are you? Um, okay, so uh, I'm French and I love vectorization and your channel. Hey, good stuff. Hopefully that we can grow and we can find more people that love vectorizing stuff. Uh. Okay, so, oh, there's a um, there's a lot of questions. How do I miss this stuff? What the hell? What's your favorite vector design? You now I've already read that. What is the okay, Rafael? I've just in, uh, I just invented. I will create an account on Instagram to post only my vectors art. Yeah, Rafael, definitely make that, bro. Hundred percent. What do you think? Do it, bro. Make if you're gonna make artwork, find a place to promote it, or not even promote it, just post it. It's really nice to collate your images somewhere. Uh, 
Draw King says, what is the hardest part in using Adobe Illustrator? The hardest part about using this software is the time it takes to create things. No, I'm kidding. If you do what I do, then yes, the time that you spend is a lot. And that can obviously be a little bit annoying. But that's right. Um, oof, it's looking good. Um, but um, overall, uh, like, there's no real hard part. Once you learn how to do something, it just, yeah, it just becomes, yeah, time, I guess. Good question, though. Um, it's so great having a great group of friends to do YouTube with. I'm going to try so hard this year to push myself to make lots of content. Just wish I had friends to do it with. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I found the boys, which was really good because they obviously encourage me to do things and I ask them all the time uh, what to do and they ask me the same uh, but um, I know what you mean I'll just encourage you to just go out uh, jump on like some some reddits and just message people see who's in the area use hashtags to find other photographers that's what you're into and um, yeah just get yourself out there it's the only real way I'm sure there's other people that are in your area that probably feel the same way so Alrighty. I'm going to keep going to the questions. Uh, Eamon Shah says, how long do you think vectorizing uh, this would take? Based off what I'm looking at now, the sand won't take me long. Oh, like I'm nearly finished the sand. The, the trees will take a while. I reckon the trees and the mountains probably take me an hour there. I'll probably spend like an hour on the ocean at least. I'll probably spend an hour and a half to two hours on the ocean. I reckon I'll spend probably like seven, seven hours on this. Which will be fun. Seven, six to seven hours. Shouldn't take me that long. Uh, greeting from Meldise. Alice, hi Alice, how are you? So far I'm loving everything you're putting out on YouTube. You have really found your groove. Thank you, Alice. I really appreciate that. I have been thinking of ways to create better content and I'm always trying to improve. So, you know, hearing that kind of stuff is a really, really nice, right, really nice thing to hear. I can't wait to be able to bring out more content for you guys. We are, we are slowly growing. Jackson Half. Do a Tiger King vector art. I haven't watched Tiger King. Who's watched Tiger King in the chat? I haven't seen it. Okay, Yoshi uh, says, what tool do you use to source the colors? So I use the eyedrop tool. Uh, obviously, just it basically just picks the colors for you. And, oh, fuck. Where do we go? We've, we've done a lot of the beach already. Now we're kind of getting into where the water's coming up. I've got to be careful here because I want to display movement in here without, um, yeah, without it getting like washed out. So like that'll be that color. But then as you can see here, this is where the the water has kind of like dropped back, but the sand's still very wet, um, and I want to convey that color as well. But yeah, I use the eyedrop tool to pick my colors and I can go through how I do my stuff if you're interested. Who, who wants to know the process that I'm doing? I, I obviously, <laughs> I did explain everything in my recent YouTube video, but uh, I can explain it all now. Again, for you guys, for you guys. All right, we'll put that one, put that one there. Oh, see, see, I don't, oh. What's Tiger King about? Okay, uh, Mythic Shots is pretty good. Awesome, bro. Thank you. Uh, good to hear. I'm French and I love it. Okay, I read that before. CK Creative, it's really rewarding when people love your content. Do you agree? It's amazing, bro. It's a really good feeling. Uh, hey, I'm from the con I'm from Meldives and I love your content. It's very enjoyable. It is. Thank you, bro. I see you everywhere and you uh, definitely support me and the boys. I appreciate it. Greetings from Germany. I found your channel today and I got inspired to vectorize my old photos from the road trip I did two years ago. I'd give it a try today. Herman... That is exactly what I want to hear. Once you finish making your vector art, post it on, Insta uh, post it on Instagram, post it on your story. 
tag me and hashtag vector with CK. You will enter the competition that I'm running at the moment. Lemon and you are the same path of artwork. Um, yeah, no, Lemon, not really. Lemon does like digital art. Yeah, true. Actually, well, like you could, you could, you could say that he does like digital art. Yeah. Lemon does some cool stuff. I do. I do like Lemon's artwork. Uh, it's sad that he doesn't. He doesn't make more content. Alrighty, what do we got here? Uh, Tristan E. Hell yes. Alrighty. Um, 27C, okay, da, 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 da. sorry, I'm losing you guys in the chat, it's going up and down, definitely saving this to watch later, love the channel, bud, thank you very much, bro, I appreciate it, um, any tips for growing your Instagram, I'll get to that one in a second, uh, um, Alana says, watching you, Liam, Mike and Hayden definitely fills me with lots of inspiration, it's like you guys are my friends going along this journey with me, even though it's through a screen, so thank you. All good, Alana. That that is a really nice thing to say, and um, yeah, just know that me and the boys are here with you along the way because we are all uh, on the path of creativity and content creation, and it's a fucking long path. So, if you ever got any questions, feel free to hit me and the boys up. Um, yeah, we're always, always, always happy to to have a chat. Sometimes the boys find it hard to get back to their messages. I know that because they get so many. I'm obviously a little bit smaller, so I can I can open and, and reply and do all that kind of stuff. So, yep. Um, what else have we got? Uh, any tips for going on your Instagram? Post consistently. Consistent content is the best way to grow. Uh, if you're posting quality content, that ob obviously helps, but you have to be posting consistently. You have to be engaging with your audience. You have to... Yeah, be engaging, be consistent, and be innovative. If you do what everyone else does, then what sets you apart from the rest? I know it's a bit hard. I know it's a bit of a harsh thing to say, like, you know, be different. You can't force that. But um, I would encourage everybody to try and find their own little niche in, in whatever they do. Oh, this color seems very similar. See, I don't like making same colors next to each other um okay i love the questions man keep them coming keep them coming um always man artists never recognized by followers or views you're best just do what you are doing appreciate it bro you're a legend tranja can't uh have you ever thought on putting your skills in fiverr or similar that's a great question andrea uh lovecchio is that italian um <laughs> okay I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm trying to catch up um, I have I used to put my artwork on Gumtree uh, which is like a very similar thing to Fiverr it's like an Australian um, uh, what's it called like it's like an eBay and I used to just be like graphic designer if you need anything I can make you anything but the clients that you get off that kind of platforms aren't good Fiverr I'm just not like, I'm not, like I want to, I have been freelancing and I'm still freelancing and doing work for people, but it's very small. The clients that come to me are through word of mouth and they understand, they understand my quality because of the people that have referred them. Does that make sense? So when I charge however much I charge, which um, is a lot more than what I'd be, I'd be like comfortable with charging on Fiverr because some people just, you know, Fiverr, oh, I'm going to spend $5 on this app and get a good and get a good logo. That's what people think. That's why I don't want to use it because people don't appreciate the quality that they will receive. But yeah, I'm just I'm just focusing on social media to be honest at the moment, not not uh, Fiverr and that kind of stuff. Good question though. I might check it out one day. Uh, Tristan says definitely saving this torch later. Love the channel, bud. Appreciate it, bro. What do you study at uni? Is it design? Tory Westbrook. Yeah, I do. I study. Um, I studied communication design at uh, Swinburne University at Melbourne. Uh, I've actually got an assignment due tomorrow, uh, but we don't we don't talk about that. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been studying for three years now, so I'm in third year uni, and it's taught me nothing. 
Yeah. Nah, it's taught me a couple of things, but nowhere near to what I've just taught myself. This is going to look sick. I'm keen to see this. Done. All right, what else have we got? Finally, you read my comment. Yes. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to... I can't believe how much... How many people in the chat. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. Um, uh, also, real quick. Tomorrowland is having a live DJ session. It would be cool to have it on, on in the background. All right, cheers. Good point. All right, let's put it on. I'll stop my recordings again. Fuck it. I like to record for one hour slots usually. But, um... Uh, do, 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 do. So you guys want to listen to the Tomorrowland one hour session? Is it on Facebook? Oh, no, but the thing is, I can't put on anything that is copyright claimed. I don't know if that's copyright claimed, but... Um... Honestly, I'm probably not going to put on that because I had to remove some of my videos from last time because music was copyrighted. So what I'm going to do is just put on Epidemic Sound and just put on some chill beats from that. Uh, if you guys are cool with that. Just, just so I don't have to go through the whole hassle of copyright songs and bullshit like that. Yeah. Uh, if we put this through here, yeah, speakers. You guys tell me. You guys tell me how it is uh, in terms of the music quality. Alrighty. Uh, so I answered Tori's qu Tori's question. I hope that answers your question. Uh, like I said before, Tristan, we got some music on. Ken Dillon vlogs watching from Philly. Philly. Good stuff. Uh, welcome to the stream. Um, finally read my comment. Yes, I did. So I'm trying to catch up. Watching from Philippines here. I love you and the boys. What do you mean? True. That was a cool hoodie. Did you buy it? My internet is broken. Yeah, bro. Explain. Um, hello, Bobbit. Uh, Hayden's joined the chat, boy. Yeah, boy, recognize me, thanks. Uh, Hayden is here. Dot, dot, dot. I'm so sad. Uh, are you still using your phone for your webcam? Yes, I am. <laughs> How does it look? How's the sound as well? When I speak, can you see me speaking? Is it lagged? Uh, it's good, it's good. Music quality is good. Mint. Alrighty, mate. Pass me inside to hang the bed. Good luck with the rest. Should look pretty sick by the end. Appreciate it, Sam. Good, good night, brother. Thanks for joining in. And hello, Lydia. How are you? It's probably, it's probably morning for you. Alrighty, we're just making some artwork, guys, and we're getting stuck into it. And I don't mind this music at all, actually. Epidemic, ep epidemic sound bringing the goots. Uh, we're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. We're vectorizing a portrait. Oh, sorry, a landscape. This is completely new. We haven't done this kind of stuff before ever in the history of CK Creative. Crazy, crazy stuff. Alana Lorraine, you're welcome. No lag, boy. Perfect. This is good. No lag. Which we love. Which we love. Alrighty. Good night, Sam. <laughs> is this the music that you hear? Um... No, this isn't the music that I listen to. This is just epidemic sound because it's because uh, I pay a subscription, so it's not copyright. It's not copyright claimed. I can I can play it in my streams because I pay for it. But no, I, I usually listen to a lot of stuff a lot of stuff on Spotify. I'm actually thinking about making a um, thinking about making a Spotify playlist of the stuff that I make. Would that be a good idea, guys? Would that be a good idea? You guys follow me on Spotify? No, that's good. That's a good little tune. 
Oh, but yeah, this, this will take a while, and I was planning on just playing Call of Duty with Liam uh, tonight, but I decided to just smash this out on top of the video that I posted today. Uh, it's been a big day for the content, the content, but as I said on my story last night, that turns down a little bit. I had uh, recorded a video yesterday and then I lost some files, screen recording files, and it destroyed me. I just couldn't be motivated to make this, the video again, and so I ended up just playing Call of Duty all day. And you know what? I don't regret it at all. Like, I know, like, Hayden will say, like, Hayden will say, like, you know, you got to push through those kind of moments, uh, and that's what, that's what makes you grow. But like, I, I don't know. I guess I feel guilty if I say it, but like, I just like, couldn't be fucked. And it mo it, I knew that today was a day where I was gonna pump it out. And as a result of not pumping out the video yesterday, I made sure to make it up and do a live stream tonight. So yeah. What do we got here? Nikki 99 anyone from Maldives. This is gonna get hectic though, because there's like waves and shite. This is gonna be interesting. I've never done a landscape vector before. What the fuck is going on? Dude, this sand goes down all the way, like. All the way down here. What that thick? No, oh, sorry, do I swear? What game was your favorite in COD? Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag? Uh, I personally love Domination because the games go for a decent amount of time. And so I can rack up those juicy kill streaks. Uh, what, you, what is your favourite if you play the game? If anyone plays Call of Duty, what is your favourite? Alright, so what we're gonna do is here is we're gonna make sure that the the like this is just gonna be really thin and then it's just gonna go out. There you go. So like you guys wanna see what we've done. That's what we've done. That's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm only streaming on YouTube, Simon, Simon, because, um, uh, well, this is where my platform is. I don't feel like a lot of people would watch me on Twitch because, well, obviously I don't use it, but why would people come watch me if I've got it? I don't know. I don't know. I just, YouTube. Uh, Battle Royale is the best, huh? I actually played Battle Royale with Liam for the first time last night, and yeah, it was fun actually. Oh, this is hard because the sun's peeking over the 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 mount like these here, and it's actually reflecting on the. Oh, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm I'm gonna do the white stuff because like. I think it's important to do this kind of stuff because this is like the waves, you know what I mean? You need to demonstrate which way the waves are going because I'm I'm demonstrating which way the uh, shade in the in the in the sand is. So hopefully people will get that. I'll probably make it see this is what I mean by like picking your colours. I'll probably just make it a How does it pick that colour? There you go. Do 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 um, do you okay, no, I don't stream on Twitch, I just stream on YouTube. Domination is good, hell yeah. Is it worth doing a degree in design? Um, well, I've been asking myself that question for a long time, boy. Nah, like, honestly, I don't think so. If you're willing to teach yourself everything, if you're not and you want to be a designer, then yeah, go get a degree. But if like, um, 
Yeah, I think I think if if yeah, if you're doing what I'm doing and you just teach yourself everything anyways, I think you'll be right. However, yeah. If you're not willing to do that, then go get yourself a degree. And then at least that way you've got your piece of paper and you can just go into the workforce without worrying whether people will um, yeah, hire you or not. Now that's, this is all reasonably the same colour except what's in the middle there. What else we got? Uh, so Alpha says, oh man, I lost all my photos and videos due to a uh, ransomware and I had all my data in that, but I just pushed through those times. Fuck. That would have been really, really tough. I think I might go buy a hard drive as soon as we get out of this and back up all my files again. Because like, I had a look at, I watched Mike's What's In My Bag video, obviously, because I watched Mike's videos. And um, yeah, like, I just can't, I could not imagine losing all my stuff. I saw the big hard drive that he has to put all of his stuff in and I was like, nah, it's so smart. Definitely gonna be doing that. Uh, uh, Alana plays team deathmatch and free for all, mostly like 20 kills per game because I just play with randoms. Yeah, that's fair enough. Sometimes when I play with Liam, we strategize and so we actually get some bit more kills together, which is cool. But yeah, Alana, add me. Um, just send send me your um send me your gamer tag on uh just through Instagram DMs and I'll um I'll add you. We'll play together. What else have we got? Uh Keon says, bro, you ins Wait, what? Wow, I caught up. Bro, you inspire me to do photography and vectorizing. Oh my, I hope I can work with you guys soon. Bro, keep doing what you're doing. And um, one day, if we're able to work together, how cool would that be? Do a little collab. Cheeky little collab, cheeky little collab. All right, so I don't know if this is a good idea, creating these little ways, like this whitewash here. I have a feeling that it might be, but I also have a feeling that it might not be. I don't know. Like this is this is this is the question with the of a graphic designer. Oh, sorry, when I do this shit, how detailed do I go? Like, is this too far? I think I think it's important to put the whitewash in, but just be careful with how. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> See, that's the thing, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. That's why I'm just getting out there, doing it. you figure out the rest later. I think I'm just gonna do the whitewash first so it's not doing my head in. Uh, does digital pen work better over pen tool? Uh, well, if you mean digital pen, like what tool are you using with your digital pen? Like you've got your Wacom tablet. Um, if you're using the pen tool, I just use a mouse because you're clicking everywhere. But you could. If you're using a Wacom tablet, just use the pencil tool. It's the same thing. It's this one over here. Uh, where is it? Where's the pencil tool? Yeah, it's this one. You just draw and then it draws your shape. So like I could technically just draw this stuff in. Just do that and it draws your anchor points already. So if you're using a Wacom tablet, just use that. But um But yeah, I just use a pen tool because um because I like this geometric style at the moment. I'm really enjoying it and uh yeah I think it looks really cool. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing those these white lines, but I'm look I'm keeping an eye on the perspective of the the waves and where they've broken. So like you'll notice, okay, this wave here is coming around like this, yeah. So if we use like this, let's just say we use this as a reference. Uh, 
I'm going to draw my uh, my shapes of, of this whitewash around in this kind of shape, in this kind of style. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's how you kind of, that's how you can create perception really, really, really nicely with, with just creating 2D objects, you know what I mean? And there you go. So once it's all done, it'll really feel like when you're looking at it that you can tell that that's the wave there. Alrighty, what else we got? Would you date a fan, CK Creative? Um, yeah, I would date a fan. Like if we, if we, if like if I thought they were attractive and we got along really nicely and like I don't know, we we're talking, and then maybe like just say we went on a date. Obviously, I had to live in Melbourne, or whatever. Yeah, data. We just met met through social media. Would you date a fan, Nikki Nine? A year worth of data alpha, that is rough, bro. I'd, yeah, well, at least you learn. At least you learn. Have you ever had the problem that people thought you are from Austria instead of Australia? Um, no. <laughs> Straight up, no. No one's ever thought I've, I'm from Austria. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if they speak English over there. Don't they speak Austrian or some shit? Could be very wrong, so do not, do not hold me accountable for my words. But uh, yeah, nah, no one's, no one's done that. Yeah, I reckon we'll just finish the ocean, uh, and then we'll just maybe start doing a little bit of the sky or something. Oh, we'll have a late one tonight, I don't give a fuck. I need to finish this artwork before I can create anything. Uh, else, so this needs to get done. Why does it not pick that? I'm clicking on this color. There you go. Fuck me. Don't like it when it does that. It really pisses me off. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like get a specific white. Like here, I want that white, and then just picks that gray. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense, Karen. Uh, Alpha, maybe it's in the bin. <laughs> Rafael, that's just that's just mean. No, it got encrypted, bro. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. So, I can't keep up with you guys. Uh, are you counting how many anchor points you do each time so it stays consistent? Just watched your competition video and you mentioned to pay attention to that. Jack, that is a great question, bro. Um, so, no, I'm not keeping count of my anchor points um, because, like, like, because it does differ um, how can I explain it? It does differ, like, but, uh, depending on what I'm kind of shading in. All of these big kind of shapes over here, I can I can tell you right now have around um, seven to probably like fifteen anchor points. Uh, like obviously this one here because it goes that's going to have a little bit more, whereas this one here because it's kind of just like big and around, it's going to have less. Um, but the, like the more anchor points that you use, the more realistic it's going to look. And so you want to always just keep it in the back of your mind that if you don't need to be clicking another anchor point there, or if you can get away with just shaving a little bit off and create a straight line, do it. And you'll notice me doing that. Like when I'm doing this white kind of lines, like, like you'll see me like, I'm not like, okay. If I want, if I was making this super realistic, I'd be doing things like this. Uh, and then I'd be coming around, and then I'd be doing this, you know, and then, and then that would be, that would be, and that would be considered stupid, yeah? Too many anchor points in, in regards to what, the, the style that I'm going for within this art, art piece, yeah? Um, what I would usually do, even though this is kind of detailed, you can see how I'm just, like, kind of moving my, my pen, like, around, just roughly getting it right, and, you know, 
yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a wave. Uh, I hope that answers your question. No, I'm not counting, but I am keeping it in the back of my mind uh, in regards to what I can get away with and what I should uh, keep, what I should be more aware of. Yeah. Just chill as. Um, great question though, Jack. Really good question. CK, I'm sorry if you don't understand my combo between Nikki and Nine, but Maldives is a country where there are separate atolls and islands. That's cool. No worries, bro. You can have a conversation with him. I'm going to answer everyone else's questions. A graphic a graphic had to be done in Illustrator or uh, have to be in .ai file. Um, an AI file is illust an AI file is an Illustrator file. So I'm like just mumbling my words now. Um, yeah, so an Adobe Illustrator file stands for .ai. So yeah, graphic designers tend to use Illustrator. Uh, if they are using Adobe softwares, there are other softwares as well if you want to use it kind of stuff. Uh, Donovan says, all CK does on COD is team kill me. <laughs> Donovan, I'm sorry. I do team kill uh, some people sometimes accidentally. It's an accident. It's an accident. I didn't mean it. I swear to God. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, I'm chilling in my chair, doing some vector rod, killing it, oh yeah, I'm changing with my friends, I'm chilling with my audience, and they're loving it, and I can tell that they're having friends, yeah, they're making the men's, I'm making the bends, cause we're chilling and we're killing and we're dealing. As you can tell, I'm also about to kickstart my rap career. What do we got here? I'll send my battle tag after this live stream. No worries, keen to play with you. What is your favorite part about being from the Maldives? <laughs> Mine is the island life. That's awesome. Nikki Nine, tell us what kind of uh, food and cuisine you like from um, the Maldives. Tell us your favorite cuisine. What does your mum cook you the most? Insha, Insha, nice. Hey bro, can you play Basics album by Epidemic Sounds? Heh <laughs> thanks. Short. The only thing is, if I click off this, the recording's gonna stop. I'll let this keep recording probably till one and then we can play that, how about that? Bro, what are your thoughts on 60% keyboards? Don't know. I will do your challenge. Yes, do my challenge. Uh, how do you know, how do you know your challenge that people don't just get a picture from Google Images? Um, I would like to think I'd be able to tell because a lot of the stuff on Google Images is really fucking good. Like if you type in vector art, like you're going to get some good vector arts. And I'm pretty good at identifying like, obviously, yeah, it's a good point. Um, I guess I just have to trust them. Like, if they come to me with something hectic, and then they're like, well, what's the point? What, what, what is the point of doing that? Why would someone do that? What? Obviously to win the prize, but like... Look, it's a good, it's a good point that you do raise. Um, uh, I, I would like to think that my judgement would be able to see through those people. Because I actually can tell. I can tell. Plus, I could just ask them to send me the Illustrator file if I wanted them to. How old are you? Tori, have a guess. Which language do you speak? I'm Greek and I speak a little bit of Greek. I'm moving to Australia in two years, hoping to collab with you guys. Hell yeah, bro. Keen to meet up with you when you're here. Oh my god, in 30 minutes I have lessons online. Oh no. Rank top three hottest Game of Thrones characters. CK Creative. Alright. Um, fuck, I don't even know their names anymore. Um... 
I want to say Cersei, because I'm actually not going to say that, but Cersei. Uh, definitely the dragon bitch. Um, and that rang her at the, like within the first season. She was fit as. Forgot her name though. Help me out with her name. That that redhead chick. That that uh, married um, the king. That little bit. That little uh, scrawny motherfucker. I forgot. I forgot all the names. It was so long ago that I watched that. So that I watched that whole thing. Game of Thrones is dope as though. Um. Uh, Rafael, man, I really don't know how to vector art. That's right. Alpha, watch the last video from CK. I go through everything uh, start to finish. It's so easy. What I'm doing right now is so easy. Genuinely, like, if you just start doing it, you'll, you'll pick up the habit within a second. This is so chill. I love this. I want to make a story saying that we're live and we're having a good time, but I'm using my phone as my webcam. Tori asks, uh, Tori has a guess at my age and she is correct, I am 21. Yes, seventh year in the chat, brother. How good. It is, it is pretty chill vibes out here. Everyone's just kind of hanging out and watching me make some vector art. It's fun. I gotta do this shit more often. Marjorie Tyrell, there you go, Nikki Nyan, that's her name. Hey, she can Marjorie my Tyrell in there. I don't know, oh, this is seriously. At what point do we just like not worry about the um Doing well, man. Just finished playing some COD. Are you are you done, Liam? You're not gonna play anymore. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do. Want to be some Skrillex drop. Okay. <laughs> I was hopeful. I was like, I love Cod Man. Used to play it all day. How about you guys? What are you all up to? Yeah. What happened to Six Era? <laughs> That's what I love on Cars, bro. But I'm so entertained with you. What you're doing? I oh, appreciate it, man. Is this entertaining? Australia now, it's uh, 12.37. Fuck. I hate it sometimes when I don't connect anchor points and then it suggests for me to connect those anchor points when I'm trying to click on that anchor. 
Illustrator Problems 101. Mm -hmm. I'll try emulate the whitewash after after like big waves like this. Oh my guys, look who joined me! <laughs> it's my dog. Hey. This is my little puppy, guys. How cute is he? Hey, how are you? I'm live streaming. You're gonna stay in my room tonight? Watching live streams is so soothing. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I watch your video and hear it. Uh, and here you introduce CK work. Yay! I'm actually studying how to do vector art, but this is a bit hard. How do you vector? But this is a bit hard. Nah, this is easy. This is easy, easy stuff. This is a. This um. This landscape is actually a bit tricky, not gonna lie. And I reckon it's gonna get a little bit more trickier because of the uh, leaves and stuff, but... I don't know, man. Like, there's no rule book, rule book, bro. I'm just doing it. This is my first time doing it as well. I just pick your colors. <laughs> pick your colors. Doggy, doggy, doggy. I've been isolating for like a month. I'm literally going insane. Yeah, same here. I haven't left the house. Uh, doggy, oh, so cute. Oh, that dog is so cute. Can I steal him? Such a, yeah, he's a boy. His name's Corey. Oh my God, that is so cute. Hey, Corey. Yeah. He's a little cutie, isn't he? I do love my dog. What kind of dogs do you guys have? Corey's, the, uh, Corey's a Bichon Poodle. And to be honest, he's very entitled. I give him way too many scratches. And sometimes I feel like I just want to like take him to the streets of Bali where, all the where there's a lot of stray dogs. And um, just see how he... How he <laughs> see, how he so see, see if he can survive there. No scratches for him there. This is tough. So I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out where the waves are kind of like. I reckon I reckon we'll just go all the way around and and come up here. Fuck me. Uh, where is Hayden, Mike, and Tom? Um, don't know where Mike is. I know Tom is going to come on, well, he told me to tell him, uh, hey, Liam, could you tell Tom that I'm live? He actually told me to tell him, and I can't tell him because my phone's um, recording. He told me to tell him when, when I go live. He said he'll jump on. I reckon this is going to look really cool, though. I'm pretty keen to finish this already. In your opinion, what's the weirdest phrase Americans say? Oh, shoit. Um, I reckon... Well, I haven't been to... I, I've been to America, but I haven't really had enough conversations to pick up their lingo. Um, they've got a lot of weird shit going on with them, though, to be honest. No, I'm kidding. Uh, um, I reckon like the weirdest shit Americans say. Um, well, it depends where you're from, doesn't it? This needs to be like that color. Yeah, that's, that's good. Hey, uh, to be honest, I don't know the answer to that question. Say hi to Corey for me. It will do, bro. Uh, music. Uh, bro, can you help me because I'm confused as to what colors I'm going to choose. I want graphic designing slash photography, but I kind of want culinary also. What do you mean by that, bro? Bro, what, what colors you're going to what, oh, what course? Um, 
fuck. Do. Do. Well, first of all, do whatever you like the most. Second of all, I would suggest to do um, probably. Gra oh, look, I, I can't. I can't comment on whether like being a culinary chef is like a good profession, but I know graphic design is probably more like. Probably better to study graphic design over photography because I think photography is probably a little bit easier to pick up and learn yourself if you re if you really love it and, and actually get work on your own. Um, maybe. Then again, photographers would probably be like, "Oi, no, it's not." So I I don't know. Honestly, just do whatever you think is best for you. Oh, this is a tricky one. I'll right, we'll make this one like an in-between color. Yeah, I'll we'll make this one that. Uh, your camera have a weird angle. Ah, sorry about that. Is this better? Let me know if this is better. Leave me in the comments below if this is better. Yeah, I'll make you go right in front of me. How about that? You're great inspiration, guys, to me. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um, you can't really fix that. Bro, what is the most scariest thing that happened to you? Uh, I cut off my finger. It's gone. There you go. Finger's gone. Uh, that, if I remembered it, probably would be, but because I don't really remember it, I don't know if that counts, but yeah. This is such an epidemic sound song. Royalty free techno music? Yeah, is it is there is it uh, techno on epidemic? Oh, okay. can you just go on YouTube and type that in? Does that work, Liam? Surely. It's so hard to like comment on, focus on the um, chat. Sometimes, as well as like focusing on artwork, I find. It's good there. Always striving for greatness. Alright, this will be. This, this is starting to come along actually. I like how. Um, I like how we're starting to create like motion in the ocean. <laughs> starting to create a little bit of motion in the ocean. <laughs> But the colors are too... Oh well, yes, yes, search dark techno on epidemic sound. Oh, Liam the Great is here. Sexy voice, Liam. Uh, at Keon, uh, would you go knuckle deep into Cory to end coronavirus? Nikki Nine, that's a bit of a fuck question. I'm not gonna lie, sir. Um, I actually wouldn't. I actually wouldn't. If someone said you could end it right now, but you have to go knuckle deep in Cory, I'd be like, nah. There's no fucking way. I'd rather coronavirus to exist. You almost fucked cunt.
All right, I'll put in some dark techno. The thing is, uh, as I was explaining to the, everyone, if I click off my screen here, the, the screen recording ends and I like to keep my recordings as long as possible. So when I deal with them in Premiere, I'm not just like, it's not just like tiny little clips that I have to piece together. I'll probably keep this recording going for like another 10. And then, um, We'll sort it out. Oi, Liam, are you playing GTA? I've got a feeling that you're playing GTA and you're watching my live stream at the same time, sir. Would I be correct with that assumption? I'm really focusing on, on trying to get these um, waves like right. Like the right shape, because sometimes they overlap as well and then you've got wet, some lines that you go down this way and they go down that way. And well, that's hard to do. I, I'm finding that hard to kind of differentiate but it's not too bad to be honest um, actually we'll bring this one up here now and there this can be this color oh no this color I want that purple yeah nice uh, oh thanks man you the best oh wow yes Oh, here we go. Major kills in the fucking chat. Goes by the name Major Kill. Yeah. Do you upload your live streams to YouTube afterwards? Yeah, I do upload my live streams. Uh, I'm loving that already. This artwork is looking stunning. Yeah, it's looking good. It's coming along. Um, I think it's time to duel. Major Kill is here. <laughs> Corey does not deserve such a thing. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cooked, Nikita's. Um, I'd knuckle coin for free. You're fucked. Here we go. Haha, <laughs> you're right. I'm joking. I'm watching this live stream. How did you know though? Yes, I did know. Because you're kind of active. Uh, whilst... Yeah, you're, you're, you've been active for a while. So you haven't just, like, come on, said hi, and then, um, gone, made some food or some shit. And... You're not playing card. <laughs> so what else would you be doing? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That nah, COD's good. I mean, JDS good. Yeah. Fuck, this shit's cooked, does. This fucking sand bank. Nah, this has got to be like this color. Yeah, like that kind of like. Actually, no, nah, it needs to be like more like a. Like a blue, yeah, like a... Nah, blue, that blue... Oh, what the... What is this? I think this needs to be like more of a grey... Fuck. Nah. 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 Oh. That could be alright, actually. Yeah, let's just look at that. Fuck it. Wait, what I'll do is I'll show you guys the actual, like, end result. Uh, sorry. I'll show you what we've done so far once I finish this, once I finish this ocean. Shouldn't take too long because we've done all of, like, the whitewash now. So this here is going to be, like, this, like, little pillar. I'm just gonna do way more, way more live streams. Like I, I make this artwork anyway. So whether I'd make a live stream and then just have you guys join in and just hang out if you want to, even if I was doing it with no one watching, I don't give a fuck. Uh, 
Oh my god, I have to leave less than line starting ten minutes. Oh good Rafael, thanks for coming down and and, and and hanging out. Hello, yo Pavlos. Hi Pavlos. Pavlos, hey. Hey Pavlos, how are you? See you soon, Rafael. Thanks for hanging out. Oh fuck. I clicked out of the thing. Alright, let's chuck on some dark techno baby. Let's see if they've got melodic techno. We've got techno and trance. Yeah, there's a lot here. Here we go. Here we go. Your stream kind of popping though. It's palpin', baby. It's palpin'. That's what we love. We love everybody that just comes in, hangs out, and just supports the channel. Just hang. Like, what else have we got to do? Dab on that shit. This is what we love. You. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh man, it just takes me back to pitch when shit was just good and Corona was non-existent. But this, to be honest, as, as selfish as it might seem, I have never pumped out this much content in my entire life of well, entire my, my entire content creation life. So, like. I'm not minding the fact that I have to be home. Yeah, very patient, CK. I salute you. Yeah, bro. I've learned. I've I've learned a lot about patience. It's it's hectic. Yeah. The only thing I have is yes, definitely patience. Fit, 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 figure out 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 fit, And my, my, my stuff goes, my, the artwork that I do goes for a while anyway, so it's like, it's kind of perfect for a live stream, you know what I mean? I'm such a weirdo as well. What else we got? What else we got? Good audio. Oh. Oh, I don't know why it would be echoing. Maybe it's because... How's that? Can you guys still hear the audio? Uh, bro, I think the audio gets messed up due to some lagging issues. Uh,
And my own shrooms of Dan Sam Moffat. Are you on shrooms? Your mic is raping itself. Fix your audio, you degenerate. Stream is fun. It's not boring like other streams. Yeah, you have great patience. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for um, telling me. Uh, I think it's already fixed now. Hmm. That is better, sir. Yeah, the audio is something wrong. It's a bit loud, bruv. Better. Yes, you can hear the audio. Well, I don't know. Is it? Is it all right? All we'll do is here. We'll come over to... Can you guys still hear the music now? <laughs> Little robotic. Ah, oh, well, I can't really help that, to be honest. Sounds echoey as fuck. I uh, don't know why that would be happening, to be honest. Ah, the music was fine. It's your voice. Okay. I'll put I'll put I'll put it down a bit. Maybe I'll um. Yeah, I'll unplug the uh, mic. Is that better? I'll turn it off and on. I can maybe... Change this. It's a bit loud too. Okay, so how's that? I'll put it away like here. How about that? Buy a mic. Yeah, I can buy a mic if I could uh, go to the shops and actually find one. I couldn't even find a webcam. But yeah, when, when everything settles down, I'll definitely buy the proper equipment. Tell me, is it okay now? Yay. Yeah. Gucci. Alrighty, I'll put it away here. I'll put it, I'll put it like over here. Let me know, is the music good? And is my voice good? There's no music on at the moment, but... Yep, nice mate. Good, perfect, better, better one, CK. Yay! Ah, Lydia says perfect as well. Ah, uh, perfect. Well, thank you for that, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> we'll get back to it. Alright, we'll... Actually, we won't, won't record this. Stop recording. It's it's looking pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. I uh, just need to yeah, just need we'll, we'll we'll keep doing the water. Sorry about sorry about that uh that that guys. I didn't I didn't really because I can't hear what's going on. So I kind of just it's it's good to do. It's good though being able to communicate with you guys. If anyone knows what macros are, I've set macros to my to my ma to my mouse. Sorry about that. So one, two, three, and four all do like each step that um that I explained in my video, and like it just means that I just need to slide my fingers up, and you'll see. Watch, watch this. Uh, we'll go. So I'll, f I'll finish the shape. And once I finish the shape, I just go one, two, three, and then I select the color and then go alt four and then go back to my pen tool and I can start drawing again. And that just did, yeah, did everything. It's really cool. What's everyone saying? Oh no, I can't see the chat. Fuck.
Oh, this is tricky part here. There's so much waves going on. I just don't know where from. How's the music? Uh, he has mint music. What is shade? Play some music, boy. Oh, what? You can't hear the music. Oh, what? I thought you guys could hear the music. Can't hear the music, bro. Okay, um... Um, okay, let me know how that is. Can you, are you hearing the music through my, through my computer? Wow, that might be way too loud, hey? Like, what about, like, down there? Is it echoing through my mic now, though? No music. music. Good. good. Okay. okay. Someone says good. good. Yeah, yeah echo. echo. Nah, no, it's good. good. <laughs> I don't know. All right, look, look I'll, I'll just, just wait, wait a little, little bit, bit of time. time. Actually, Actually, no, no I, can't I can't wait time. time. All right, I, I believe that you are. <laughs> Perfect now. Alright, uh, we'll um, keep going then. I'll actually continue screen recording. Do a proper recording. I've been doing like one, two, like one minute. I hate it when I have to record and then I don't record because it makes me... Sorry. Ooh, this is filthy. I'm just going to shut up and let the music do the talking. This is all like whitewash here, so we'll probably just uh, just pick like a similar color for it. We'll make sure that we come up to this anchor point, join it to this anchor point here, and then we'll keep going behind this shape. And we'll probably pick like a lighter, no, not like a purple, we'll probably pick like, yeah, like a lighter blue just to kind of convey that, you know. It's just a bit softer. It's like, yeah, a bit of whitewash. It's echoing. Your audio is echoing again. Did you just hit a jewel? Vaping is gay. <laughs> now it's reverb a little bit. Huh, now it's fine. Vaping is like really bad for you. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of other things. It fixed itself. Fuck. I don't know why it would be echoing. The only, the only thing that I could guess is the fact that it's coming through my speakers and then going into my mic. In which case, I don't know how to fix that. I could put the mic closer to my mouse, my mouth, and then turn the mic audio down. How something like, how something like this. Um, yeah, I'll just keep reading your comments, and if it's like. Still, obviously, bad. <laughs> then, I don't know. I would keep trying to fix it. How how could I play music without it? Um, uh, video capture device. Audio input capture. Desktop audio would go down it's good okay well i'll just keep looking at you guys then and um if if it's if it's messing up then we'll uh uh my mic like there yeah i i, I like vaping personally Okay, sweet. Okay, I really, I really don't want to have to click off anything else. So hopefully the music and, um, oh yeah, hopefully the music stays 
okay and it doesn't echo again because I'm trying to record the process and when I have like a lot of like one two minute recordings it really is not ideal it's like not the end of the world but it's not ideal don't blow into the mic oh, you sound like every road you finish okay. move it away from space okay it's over here now how about that I'm surprised that it's like so extreme let me know how that is it's like all the way over there I will buy a proper setup though after all this is done I'm just trying to make do with what I've got now because well why not a plus for fucking effort. What do you guys think of think of swearing on the stream as well? I swear. That's a thing though. Like everyone says, vaping's bad for you. My friend Riley says vaping's gay, which is like I reckon that's oh, okay. Let's not use the word gay because I don't want to be like that kind of person. Um, in my streams um but um like okay i know it's bad for you but like there's so many other things that's bad for you me going and have a block of chocolate right now could be considered bad for my health but like still still enjoy it and a lot of people would probably not crucify me for having a block of chocolate latency issues How about this? Does this sound all right? I've got my desktop audio up and my mic up. Audio input capture is down. Otherwise, I'm happy to just sit here and just not, not play music. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be ideal, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, darling. But yeah, I really want to keep going with this shit. How's, how's it going? Let me know. Dude, this music's fucking awesome. It sounds fine. Thanks, Lydia. Can you always count on Lydia? Should be finishing the um, water very soon. I reckon we'll make this color like a. Actually, probably just like more of a blue. Yeah, like that. This this probably shouldn't be that color either. It probably should be like this blue. Um. Yep. This can be that, and then we'll just make. Bro, there's a difference between a block of chocolate and smoking. Yeah, but this isn't smoking. Like, I'm not inhaling it. Uh, sometimes I inhale it, but not all the time. Like, if I was to smoke cigarettes, which I used to, like, is this now so bad as opposed to smoking durries? Okay, che cheers, Jack. I appreciate the... um. Yeah, but chocolate is like food and you can do things that can stop it from being bad for your health. Unlike vaping, once you damage your lungs or your other organs, they cannot be recovered. Um, I agree. Like, you, yeah, you can, you, can, you can reverse, let's say, obesity. High cholesterol uh, is not the easiest thing to reverse, I guess. But, yeah, damaging your lungs is probably not the best thing that you want to do. Yeah, you're right. You need to breathe. I'm my me as a person though. Like at the end of the day, I I enjoy if I enjoy something, I'm just gonna do it. I'm not the like I am very fit and healthy. I play soccer. I run around more than majority of people. I'd argue. And so like, if I want to vape when I'm at my desk and just doing some artwork, fuck it. That's just my mentality. Trust me, my parents. <laughs> my parents have been trying to. Uh, convince me otherwise this is looking sick though all right i'll show you i'll show you what we've done so far guys we'll keep going i reckon we keep going 
that's what we've done. It looks it looks like the ocean. You can you can see where it kind of goes in and out and uh, where it's kind of leaving its mark. Um, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. Um, do you reckon? Are there any white spots that you reckon we should fill in? Now that I do this. No, not really. Seems pretty decent. There's one white spot here actually. Which I might touch up. Uh, there's no latency, keep going. Hell yeah. Thank you, bro. Appreciate bro, at the end of the day, it's your choice. Depends um, if it's THC or nicotine though, I guess. So this doesn't have any nicotine in it. This is just, this is just um, no nicotine or THC. This is just vape juice. It's just literally just vape. Um, which doesn't have, it, even vape juice isn't the healthiest for your lungs, but it's way better than having one nicotine or two having a cigarette. Uh, Ken D-Long Vlogs, thank you uh, for joining, bro. I really do appreciate you hanging out and the support. Go and uh, study your ass off and, yeah, best of luck for your class. This looks mean. I wonder how the end will look. Yeah, that's dope. And Lydia says it looks awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, it's coming along. I don't want to do the trees just yet because i know that the trees i actually want to i'm going to want to put a little bit of detail in them because they're the kind of only area that has like some decent detail so i'll probably be careful with that but what i will what i will do is i'll start doing the um i'll start doing the sky And then what we'll do is we'll just, we'll be very pedantic because I reckon, I reckon I'm going to go pretty detailed with the trees. I reckon that'll be like the standout piece. That'll be like the, oh wow, like he's done the trees really well. Like the sand obviously is sand and water is water. Like I'm not going to, I'm not going to do the ripples, but like I can do, I can do the trees. tastes really good as well like that's the thing it tastes good it gives me just something to just quickly do a bit of a fidgeter uh, and I like doing it fuck yeah this is going to look so good I'm so happy I'm, I'm glad I picked this photo because it's got everything in it it's got the it's got the landscape of the water the beach nice perspective it's got a few mountains in the background nice color in the sky which will really get with the uh, shapes and then uh, yeah the sunset and the trees happy days happy days happy days happy days happy days happy days Fuck. where'd it go that's it the clouds are like I can't even s like there's so much I might make a, what is it, 116. Oh, wow, it's late. It's not that late. Yeah, at least vape smells nice. I hate sm uh, smelling darts in the air. To be clear, I'm not interested in this type of art, but I really enjoy your content. That's why I'm here. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Uh, you don't have to be interested, I guess, in the, the what I do. I guess uh, as long as you just... Enjoy who I am. <laughs> it's all that matters. Nah, like, it's all good. You don't have to like it. If there's any reason that you enjoy being here, then that's a good reason. Then these clouds are like, kind of, as, like, as you can see. This is still very bad for you and personally I'd never do it but if you want to do it that's fine just like looking out for friends and people inspire me fair enough Alana I do appreciate the uh, honest 
opinion. Um, and then the fact that you're looking out for me. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm just like, um, my personality, and if you hang out with me, like if you were to hang out with me, you just realize that like, I'm just not really too fussed that much about, like I, I'm, I care about my health, but like long-term, I honestly reckon I'll be fine with just having a vape here and there. Especially considering I, I used to smoke. I used to smoke cigarettes like a lot. And then I quit. So having a, having a vape that doesn't even have THC in it, to me, it's like whatever. To some people it might be like something, but to me it's whatever. It's a little bit of fun. Uh, it's 1.16. Good luck on your art piece. Thanks bro, appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out if you're heading off. What time in your place, CK? Because here it's 12 midnight. Yeah, it's, it's one sixteen where I am. Uh, there's certain images you'd recommend as harder or easier or starting out in vector art. Yeah, bro, 100%. Like, okay, if you're doing a car, cars are pretty hard because they've got curves, they've got reflections, uh, landscapes. Well, obviously, this is the first time I've done it, but from what I've seen, from what I'm doing right now, it seems kind of hard because, like, well, the, the water was tricky because I had to kind of emulate the waves coming in and out of each other. And I don't even know how if I did a great job with it, to be honest, but... Um, yeah, and then the tide, like, yeah, the, uh, the actual whitewash was a bit tricky as well. Um, uh, if you're starting off, like, faces are even kind of hard to start off because face, like, getting face complexions and eyes and noses are tricky. I started off with faces, though, so, like, you might be alright. Um, you know, kind of just throw yourself into the deep end a bit. Um, but um, honestly, like, honestly, like, just if you want to start off, do some fruit, do like a fruit bowl, do some apples, bananas, uh, oranges, and get a feel for the uh, spherical sphere, sphericalness. If that's a word of uh, the fruit, uh, that will definitely help you gain an idea of perspective. 100%. Maybe start there. What everyone's saying. Um, it's good if you quit smoking. I know it can be hard for a lot of people, so I promise you if you're doing that, I bet you'd be awesome to hang around nonetheless. Thank you, Alana. I, will, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm cool to hang around with, but I'd like to say I am. Uh, my friends enjoy my company and I enjoy theirs. We have a lot of fun. It's good. I guess to sum it up, I'm like, not like, not, I'm not like, I'm a bit carefree and that's the way I like to live my life because fuck it, you're going to die one day. The last thing that I want to do when I'm looking back on my life is like, be like, oh fuck, I wish I did this. I wish I did that. Um, and just regret shit. It's not how I want to live it. Uh, you do some amazing work, bro. Appreciate it, Jonathan. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna this, 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 this is gonna turn out really good, I, I reckon. Using, using bigger shapes for the clouds, and then as, as we come to the trees, the, 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 uh, the tree line, I'm just making sure to just be pretty pedantic with that, because as I said before, I do want to put some, uh, emotion, sorry, some effort into the trees. But what I'm doing with the clouds is, uh, I'm going to make it kind of look like it's going like kind of up and around. And uh, yeah. Oh, this actually won't take me that long. I reckon the trees wouldn't take me. The trees will probably take me. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I reckon we'll finish the sky tonight and then we'll probably finish the, the uh, we'll finish the tree line tomorrow, I reckon, yeah. And then we'll post it tomorrow. We'll post it tomorrow night. I reckon we'll finish, we'll, we'll do a live stream during the day day in my time let's just get it going why not this is a good song what's everyone saying uh oh and how much time do we have to get our edits in for the comp you've got one week to do your edits so you've got time uh just make sure you can either if you're doing something really hectic 
chip away at it every day, but don't bite off too much then you can chew. Make sure that your shapes are, you know, reasonably sized. You're not going too detailed because you don't want to just, unless you do, unless you do want to make something detailed, then go for it. I'm really keen to see what you guys have. I might actually turn my, um, Actually, no, I won't. I was gonna, I was gonna turn my my webcam off and make a quick uh, video, just saying, hey, we've gone live, like we're we're live right now, but um, I might not. I just fuck it. Sometimes I feel annoying when I do all that kind of stuff. I I, I don't want to be talking too much to the camera because then it loses its validity of when you do and actually have something important to say. So we'll just do our live stream and then I might thank you guys later for, for joining in. Uh, Bryce Rupnow asks, is it a comfortable chair? Is, is a comfortable chair a necessity for you? Yes, 100%. My chair is very comfy, um, does the job. Uh, I can lean back in it and um, it's, got, it's got two uh, arm rests which I use I put my arms well actually I've got a chair I've got a table that goes around and so I um, I put my arms on my table and I just sit here I literally don't have to move anything I even put my feet up on my speakers which are under me my subwoofer and uh, I literally just don't have to move one muscle to hold myself up man fucking sick bro it's 10 a.m. here in Texas. Yeah, Alpha, if you want to join the comment, uh, my video explains exactly how to do everything. And honestly, what I'm doing right now is not hard. It's really not that hard, trust me. I want to pick that color. No, I don't want that color. I want, I want like that color, yeah. Oh baby, we got a triple double. Yeah, we'll, fin we'll finish the sky today. Dude, uh, I can't wait to do more stuff like this, just like landscapes, and I'm gonna do like really cool, cute characters. I'm thinking of doing like Star Wars and like, like um. I'll do, I'll probably do like Star Wars, Harry Potter and do like, like little like illustrations of like the cute characters and like, I'll do like cool cars, really simple stuff. And I'll do like, I'll start posting the logos. Also, if you have any logos that you've made before, send them through and I will, um, I'm going to do a review and I'm going to edit them as well if I think there's anything to be done and we'll make a video out of that. So email your photos to ckcreative at gmail.com. And I will, uh, I'll get to that. It's always trying to think of ways to come up with like, um, new content for you guys. Not about that straight back good posture life, eh? Um, well, like, I think my posture's all right. I do slouch a lot when I'm in my chair. Like, if I wanted to have good posture, like, yeah, I'd, like, be, like, sitting up here. I'd probably get one of those things to put behind my back. But, yeah, I probably should look into that, to be honest. Because I sit in my chair, like, literally all day. I haven't gone outside once today. It's not good. I literally woke up, recorded the video, edited the video, posted the video, and then got all the details out for the competition and then made a tea and then started live streaming. Jax, it's not gonna lie bro, you make it seem so easy. I spent a couple grand on graphics course and watching your vids are more informative. <laughs> Thank you bro. Um, I really try to explain what I'm doing and the really important parts really well um, because I know how important it is to actually explain and for people to understand without watching a fucking 20 minute video. You know, the video that I explained today went for 10 minutes, but you bet you learn, you learn exactly not only how to create the vector art that I create, but the idea behind it 
and the shortcuts included to make it more efficient. So if you apply and understand the concept alongside with what makes it efficient, then you'll be able to do what I do instantly. I would like to think. Um, and uh, yeah, bro, that's the thing. I learned, I learned, I learned off YouTube. Why not give back to YouTube? You know what I mean? So um, yeah, if you've ever got any questions or about anything, just hit me up. This kind of goes, this color here, it's kind of like, kind of goes to there and then kind of goes like up to here. Matt, you know what? Maybe I do find it a little bit, <laughs> well, obviously I find it easier because I've been doing it for ages, but maybe I think it's easier than it is because I've been doing it for so long. Well, look, oh, I guess we'll find out. We'll see what people create with the competition and um, you just see what they make. Yes, boss, deadlines, when? Okay, you've got one week. So starting from tomorrow, basically, yeah, uh, until next Wednesday. I love them, but it's just me. I'm not into vectorization. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't. Um, yeah, nah, fair enough. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't like your artworks. Yeah, that's all right, bro. Um, you're just not, in, not into vectorizing. Yeah, no, nah, fair enough, bro. Like, vectorizing is quite unique. Not many people that I look across actually do this kind of stuff. A lot of people do digital art because I feel like everyone that, you know, gets into digital art, they just gravitate towards, um, uh, they gravitate towards Photoshop way faster than they would Illustrator. And so they just end up learning Photoshop and then they just become digital artists as opposed to like graphic designers. Um, which is fine. The only thing is with illustrators, it is very limited. Like, it's not limited, it's just limited in terms of like what you make. Like, colored shapes are colored shapes. This is going to look like, this is gonna look all right. There's some, there, there is some cool stuff that you can do with Illustrator if you start getting into like the 3D side of things which I will start getting into now that I've, you know, wrapped up my feed. And I'm going to teach you guys everything, trust me. This vectorizing stuff is just like one rabbit hole. There's so much shit to know. We'll go through is isometric design, we'll go through like, um, you know, when I, like we'll go through Wacom design, because I, I used to draw my Wacom, big Wacom over here. What mouse do you use? So I have a Razer Naga, uh, it's got, a few buttons I can click that down I've got these two buttons here and then I've got 12 keypads on the side I used to play games so I still do play games and I've been able to set macros to the mouse and so my workflow now is insanely quick which is really good I might do a video on that as well As you can see, like that, that I, I just went, I just did like, <laughs> it's cool. I did like five different things that would take ages. Okay, this is this is this is this is this is what you do. You finish your shape, then you convert it to an outline, a stroke. So you come over here, click that. Then you click your eyedropper tool, you click that, you click this, and then you go right click, arrange, center back, and then you got to click back on this and black back on your pen tool, and then you go again. Whereas I'm, I'm doing I'm doing that this fast, and then, I, and, then, and, then, and then and then I go again. Yeah. 
Yeah, I love how there's purples up in up in this cloud up here. I do like that. I'm really glad that there's like, cause cause it's gonna go from like yellow, orange, a little bit of red, purple, and then all the way to blue. And you've got your greens down here. It's this is literally the rainbow. That's why it's so perfect because we just came off a rainbow feed. Now we're going into something different, and we're doing a rainbow landscape. Like fucking rainbow beard. No, I'm kidding. I, I, actually, I'm not kidding. I say weird shit, and you know what? Don't take offense to it. I just, yeah, that's just me. I don't know what's offensive to say about saying the word bitch, but I'm sure some people would not like it. Bro, you might know I'm into photography and stuff, so I can send you some photos and you can vectorize if you want to. Photoshop is the easiest, easy alternative. Still takes time to get good. I gotta make some merch for street ninjas, though. Should I get into Illustrator? I reckon 110%, bro. Illustrator is made to make designs for merchandise and that kind of stuff. I did all the boys' merch on Illustrator. I would 100% just start learning it. It's really actually easy once you understand the fundamentals. Um, and uh, it's really fun. And if you know how to use Photoshop and Illustrator, you know a lot, trust me. You'll be very employable later down the track. I don't even know how to use Photoshop. I like, I literally genuinely don't know how to use, <laughs> which is actually so bad. I might, I might, um, I might do like, I might, I don't know, somehow learn. The thing is, I'm so comfortable with Illustrator that I just can't be fucked. I know how to do mo most things on Illustrator that you do in Photoshop anyways, that's the thing. You can't tell the clouds, which is a bit annoying. You can, it just looks like a sunset, eh? Like, even though I try to do the motion, it's just like... I'm curious to see... Uh, yeah, see, there's just no, like... point wasting a uh, breath over it I reckon doing more stuff like that would probably because that way it's like it's dug darker this looks more like a cloud yeah do we go back and do it again? Uh, uh. Fuck it. We'll, we'll just we'll just do this part again. So this here would be like this. That color there. And then we'd have like, now I'm kind of just, this is where I'm just getting a little bit creative, but I, I don't want the cloud to just look like a color palette. I want it to look like, I like want you to be able to identify some parts of the cloud at least. We'll come down here and then we'll come up. Oh, baby. Baby, baby. Yeah, don't mind that. Then this can be like. This can be whatever. Underneath the cloud. Because that is just genuinely sky. Well, like, yeah, it's, it's a sky. What are we saying? Uh, SK, good night. You made my day. Thanks, bro. You're an absolute legend. Thank you for supporting me and uh, watching my live stream. I hope you have a good night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.
and I'll catch you in the next one. Yeah, we'll finish we'll finish the sky today. But that's right, I'll do I'll do these clouds of it. See, there's not there weren't that many clouds. If I actually look at it, there, were, there there actually wasn't like that many like identifiable clouds in that area that I did. It was only really kind of uh, towards this this pink cloud here, and then obviously these blue clouds over here where you can really start to see that color. So I think we've done an alright job with like kind of just letting that be the sun ray, and then now it's going to turn into like yeah clear clouds, which we will emulate through. Man, clouds are cool as. Imagine if clouds were actually this color. How fucking cool would that be? Motivated to challenge tomorrow. Motivated to the challenge tomorrow. Good night, bro. You're an absolute legend. See you soon. It just looks weird now, though. It looks a little bit weird because there's a little bit too many. Well, you know what? Fuck it. You know how saying you gotta keep your anchor points consistent? That's a perfect example of what happens when it doesn't look consistent. As I said, I've never really done like landscape vectors before, so. I guess it'll look all right for me first time. Oh, 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 here we go. Fuck yes. This is so satisfying to watch. I hope it is. Is it actually satisfying? It gets it actually gets satisfying when um when like when you like start to fin like round off the colors. I'm thinking of doing Deadpool. Ooh, Deadpool, Deadpool would be cool as. I'd love to see a Deadpool. Dude, I can't wait to see what you guys have to create. Like, it excites me so much just to be able to like, teach you guys what I love doing and then seeing you guys go out there and if it's your first time, like even better, um, and doing, just trying something new. You know what I mean? Like, that's so sick. And we can like just, we can just, grow together we can just learn from each other and just make fucking vector art baby so keen so keen just to see what you guys have to create and like as i said it's not about the competition like whoever does win i genuinely will vectorize whatever they want i'll live stream it and we'll make some cool shit for them um and, and like i don't even know like what what is a winner win like, like look i'm gonna base it off like 
I'm going to base off creativity. I'm going to base it off like Deadpool. I'm going to have a look at how you go about the perspective. I'm going to see how you go about your depth and your color choice and, um, you know, your style as well. I'll look into that kind of stuff. But, um, like, yeah, this is the first time I've ever judged someone's artwork. And you can't judge. I don't like the idea of judging someone's creativity anyways. Um, but, you know what? Wouldn't be a competition if there wasn't a winner. So... And like that's all the fun about it. Like I think everyone knows that it's not about who wins. This one's a bit weird because it's like it's like a cloud off in the distance, but it's a different color. Um, I can we'll make it that color, but then we'll just we'll just put in like the orange parts. Um, it's satisfied. Landscape. Um, this has been the first time you're doing a landscape. I think you're doing pretty good. Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, it, like, even though it's the same kind of, like, theory, it still, um, it still changes the dynamic of how you should go about it. Like, clouds. What is the texture of clouds? How does clouds form? Oh, sorry. Not how does clouds form. It's retarded. How, do, how like how 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 does it kind of how do clouds interact with other clouds? Like I know I know how a nose sits on your face. I know that you know you've got these two things here in between your eyes, and you should probably do them if you want to make your eyes look a little bit more uh, realistic. Uh, but like, what do I know about clouds? Well, now I need a joint to fucking finish up this conversation. But you know, you guys know what I mean. I wasn't gonna do this live stream for a while, but fuck it. We'll finish. We'll finish off the um. We'll finish off the uh. The clouds. It won't take much longer because we're, we're getting there. How do you record your whole page in OBS, like you without zooming in and stuff, just the page? You do like a burial change, you go out and take a photo and vectorize it. Yeah, so I have done that. There is a video of me going out, taking a photo and um, vectorizing it. But um, yeah, I think, I think I will do a challenge like that. You know, you have to go out, take your own photo, and then you have to vectorize it. Imagine that. That could be like a cool... Well, like... Me and Liam did that. We were we were going to do something like that um, with the with the giveaway with the tram, but um, sadly we weren't actually able to give away what the the, the like what we had just because of like coronavirus. So um, yeah. But yeah, no, that's a great idea for the future. The thing is, there's so many cool ideas. Do you guys like doing challenges and stuff? Like when we when we come out with challenges, do you guys like see that as a good opportunity to actually do it and get a bit creative? should do like okay uh, can you can you also paint things in vector with a brush so it blends nice or is it always separate shapes like this um you can't blend things with a brush there is no blend tool uh not that i know of i know a lot of things in this in this software but i don't think there is there is 
a gradient tool though. So if I wanted to make uh, this cloud go from, let's just say this color. So I'll get my swatch panel up. So watch this, say, say I like this color. I'll add this color to a folder. And then let's say I like this blue. I'll add the color to the blue as well. So I'll come over, I'll click my gradient tool and I can create a gradient. So we'll go from this purple to this blue. And there you go. So now you've got a nice clean blend. Or if you get, get rid of this white, now you've got a nice clean blend between this color. Um, you can also do multiple colors. So I can put one color up here. <clears throat> I can put another color down there. You go purple, green, orange. You know what I mean? And so you can get really creative with this kind of stuff as well if you are uh, looking to do that kind of stuff. But um, I, I will, I will one day start doing like gradient kind of work with the vector art that I do, and that is like next level shit because once you start putting in gradients and dealing working with opacity you can start to make some cool shit but um this style that i'm doing at the moment is more just it's just more 2d it's a bit more aesthetic to look at uh i would say um and uh yeah i'm just enjoying it at the moment i don't want to try to be a jack of all trades yet but uh i w yeah uh, one day I will get into that kind of stuff. Probably sooner rather than later. That's why I, that's why I'm changing up my feed so I can just go do crazy shit. Tune. Uh, hope that answers your question. Uh, would you hop in a Discord with some and have one uh, and have one have a one v one for the same art or just do your own and two just talk to someone when you do it. Yes, I would, 100%. Uh, for what reason? Why, why not just make a um, live stream and then just kind of talk with everyone? Obviously, obviously, I can't talk to you guys, but, um, like, I don't know. I know, I know, I know, now this sound might sound a little bit, um, oh, like, a little bit cheap, cheapskate, but my mate Riley, he has a Patreon, and a lot of his Patreon viewers, sorry, a lot of his, a lot of his Patreon, like the people that pay money, uh, request to play video games with him, and um, uh, he obviously like accepts those people because they obviously pay him money, like through a subscription. Um, they're not obviously paying him to hang out, but because they are Patreons, he he does you know accept their requests when they say hey can we hang out for a bit you know and so like i don't know maybe i i don't know maybe i could try to do something like that otherwise i probably wouldn't just like join a discord to hang out because i'd probably just be like i'd probably just live stream it you know what i mean unless i yeah, unless it was a situation like that probably without, without saying like a bit, bit of a cheapskate i don't have a discord server no do you have AI 2020 or 2019? I have 2020. Chris, mate, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Good to see you, bro. How's work? I think challenge is a good motivator for most people. Uh, uh, Ruben courses, uh, and then Alana goes, challenges are fun. It's a good way to feel creative and motiv motivated to do something. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Um, I'm glad you guys like them. And I really hope that you guys will, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a poll at the end of the challenge and I'm going to get you your, your guys' responses and I want to hear if you guys enjoyed creating the vector art and whether you would do it again. Because uh, I'm interested to see. Yeah, the clouds, the clouds are getting a bit more hectic up to this right corner. Um, I love seeing what everyone can do, especially if you have creative block. True. Yeah, seeing what other people create is really interesting. Uh, hey, Chris. X Slayer phased. Hey, bro. How you going? Good to see you, man. Yay. 
Uh, I'm finished now just drinking some tea. Haha, uh -huh. how's things coming along? Yeah, good, bro. Good. I'm drinking tea also. Cheers. Mine's cold now, sadly. It's been sitting there for a while, but um, still good. I put a lot of sugar in my tea. Um, and um, yeah, nah, dude, things are coming along well. I'm doing a uh, vector art of a landscape a photographer called Tom Noski drew this, uh, sorry, photographed this and edited this and um, I decided, I asked him if I could vectorize it and he said for sure. So that's what we're working on at the moment and this is going to go across three posts and it's going to break up what I do, what I post in the future and what I've posted in the past. Um, how do you record your whole page? In Oz oh, okay, sorry, um, Ruben, I think you asked that question up here. Okay, you did. Sorry, I should have answered that. Um, I'll have to know in a second. I want to participate in the challenge, but I don't like posting on Instagram since I only get negativity from it. A man of culture, I see. <laughs> um, uh, Bryce, dude, you don't have to post your artwork onto your feed. You can just put it in your story. Or if you really want to and you don't want to post it anywhere, send it through to me through direct message. And... Um, that's that's fine bro the only, the only reason why i want you people to post it it's not for exposure it's just to um just that i can see who's done what and uh we'll get the uh hashtag going vector with ck why not try try start something you know people start liking it and they start making things like maybe maybe it could become a thing vector with ck i'm back and i went to have some dinner nice bro good to see you that chicken you feed yeah, man, the f new feed's going to be good because I'll be able to do, like, heaps of different stuff and I won't be just uh, specifically, like, stuck to vector art portraits. I'll be able to do, like... And that background was also, like, very... It was very busy, so I had to make big designs that were very intricate to kind of get away with that busy and not busy already background. So now I'm thinking of just having a white background and I'm just going to do simple shit. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys after I finish this about... Um, how I'm thinking about going the f with the feed and you guys can uh, tell me what you think uh, in regards to that yeah because I'm still not 100% sure but I think I've got a rough idea of how I want to go about it saying um okay sorry sorry ruben sorry to go back to your question so what i do is listen carefully i um i do my artwork on this monitor actually i can show you i do my artwork on this monitor here and then i um have another window so if you go up here and you click a window new window um you can open up a new window and that's this window over here now, as I draw on this, this has, um, this updates and I'm screen recording this uh, on the software that you see behind here. And I'm also screen recording this up there. This is moving, this is fixed. And that is how I do it. back yeah so i hope you are uh, learned i hope you learned something from that um because yeah that took me fucking ages to figure out by the way so like i almost feel like like i feel good giving it out the information but to figure that out took me ages i didn't think you were going to be able to do it that's why i bought another monitor you need like you need like multiple monitors to do it
This is coming along, guys. We've nearly finished it, and it's been a hectic stream. I'm really happy with the progress, actually. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, it's coming along, coming along really well. We'll finish up the home stretch because I have to. I probably have to get to bed because I've got a um. Actually, I gotta clean the dishes. Mum wants me to clean the dishes. I gotta clean the dishes, and then mum, and then um, yeah, I've got to get up early tomorrow because I've got a uni assignment to go through. Yay! But I'm glad that I got this content out for you guys today. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed it all, like the video and like, uh, you know, the content. Sorry, the cost, the, the the contest. Sorry. Oh, now I'm tired. Um, the challenge and the competition i hope you guys are excited to you know get it stuck into that and um and at it and, and yeah like i hope you guys have been enjoying the content over the past like you know couple of weeks let me know actually have you guys been enjoying it like is this what you kind of want to see i know i know i'm not a photographer but is it like kind of is it is it is it refreshing to see something that's not always photography um Okay, what do you think about the Norwegian border IG page? Man, I love it. It's fucking hilarious. Those guys are just, they're just super fans and they've just like, they've just like gone above and beyond just to kind of just show their appreciation for the boys. Obviously, they take the piss out of it, but like, we're all boys here. Like, oh, sorry, no, we're not all boys here. Um, I, I like, and, and sorry, I don't know why I made that um, a, a sex thing. We're all, like, we're all like, you know, a pretty funny kind of community and I think, they're kind of just, yeah, taking advantage of that and just taking the piss out of us, which is funny as. Yes. Liam took a f screenshot of me eating food today, and it was the most fucked photo. I looked like the Grinch on steroids. I've been enjoying live stream, boy. Um... Because I feel sick looking at time lapses of zooming in and out. Yeah, I agree. It looks yeah, th and that's why I got the um, that's why I did yeah both because you can just see it slowly starting to come to life. And I, I provide time lapses of both. That's what I make. I make I make the fixed one the biggest because um, it's obviously. It's yeah, yeah. It's just you can't when you, when you're doing when you're doing art for like over an hour. Sorry, it's okay. Over, let's say five hours. I'm zooming in and out, moving to the side. Shit's going everywhere, and you speed that up to like five minutes. And it's gonna be like fucking. It's just gonna be going so fast that you can't one you can't see what anyone's doing. So what's the point of actually t like having it there in the first place? And two, yeah, you probably make you feel sick. It gets a little bit more intricate over here, which is interesting. Which is fine though. I don't mind it like getting a little bit more intricate because this is where like the beach is, and the, and once I add in the um, once I add in the the uh, greenery, it will look the this will outweigh the simplicity of the sky anyway. So that's fine. Do you, do you guys reckon uh, YouTube is the uh, right platform to be live streaming on. Do you think Twitch is worth me looking into? I think this works pretty well, to be honest. We'll probably just make this all one color. Can't be fucked, like. Fucking around, we'll probably make it this color. Yep, that looks good. Looks a bit cloudy. Alrighty, uh, we've got CK. What do you think about the. Yeah, I've already answered that question. What's your uni course called? Tom says. Um, so my uni course is called communication design, and it's that basically means graphic design. Um, yeah, you can choose kind of what design you do, but I'm doing uh, graphics.
Also, if anyone knows how to like make a, a thumbnail for these videos, I'd love to know because it just ends up being like a default screenshot of um, like my Illustrator. And I'd rather just, I'd rather have like a good, if I'm going to be saving the live streams, then I'd rather just have a good like, um, a decent thumbnail of just like what I'm doing and what's happening. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, dude, it's looking great. No, YouTube is. YouTube is better. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, YouTube works so well. Um, it just, yeah, well, like, it's where I post my shit. So if someone's got, like, the notification stuff ticked on, whatever that is, um, then they get notified that if I go live and all that kind of juicy stuff. This is coming along great. Thank you all, by the way, for just hanging out and supporting me. Uh, I, wa I want to know what you guys are doing. What are you guys are doing at home during isolation? You guys just chilling out at home or just uh, reading books, playing games? What do you guys do in your spare time? This is what I do. This is what I like doing. It's a tough call because Twitch is definitely the bigger platform for streaming, but if you've already got the following on YouTube, then maybe YouTube is better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Plus, who goes to Twitch? Or like, look, I wouldn't know, but like, I can't imagine many people would use Twitch to go look at people streaming art. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, I'm just more aware that it's a gaming platform. Then again, I love playing games as well. I could you just start it? I just CK gaming. <laughs> Imagine that. I was I, on the one of the first streams that I did. Alpha, you remember this, bro? When I, when I, when I, like, I just, I finished the stream. And I was like, oh, do we just play some COD now? Do, you, do I just stream some COD? There was only like seven people watching or something. Like, just stream some COD. That would have been hilarious. Just kickstart my gaming channel. Uh, bye CK, I gotta go man, hope the Vector turns out great. Alpha, you're an absolute legend, you always jump in and support me for a very long period of time as well, which shows true dedication, I really uh, appreciate all of it, and I will see you in the next one bro, have a good day. Uh, Alana says, well, YouTube is a place to be. I know Twitch is good, but for art, I feel like more people steer towards YouTube rather than Twitch. You should do a side-by-side -side of before and after for thumbnails. Yeah, but the thing is, when I do, when I do the first, um, when I do the first, well, the f what would the, what would the first live stream be then? Just a photo of it? I play a lot of Fortnite now and have to be home all the time. Been kind of doing design work like posters at the company uh, I'm interning. Hey, that's cool as. I rate that. So X Slayer, do you do like uh, graphic design? You work for a company or um, tell me a little bit more about it. Eat, sleep, binge watch shows, COD, drawing, repeat. Nice. I, like, I want to see some of your drawings as well. Show me. Send them to me on Instagram. Uh, Twitch has anything, bro. True. Uh, I'm going to make a video of me. Make vector art for your challenge. Yeah make a video um show me the process and um yeah who knows maybe that'll help you if you go a little bit above and beyond uh just looked it up there's some chick live right now drawing a pumpkin on her ipad got 1k viewers though 1000 viewers hey ken's back see like <laughs> that just makes me think well like like does she like maybe she's been doing it for a while so i wouldn't know but um interesting maybe like could you do both imagine if you could do both that'd be that'd be good because then you could just like slowly rack up people watching on one platform and and then um yeah 
uh, maybe have them come across different platforms. Oh, guys, we shouldn't be doing this, but we're going into the f we're going into the um, the mountainscape. Oh, I'll do I do a little bit. I do a little bit. Just a little bit. Why not? Uh, it's like misty as over here. This is so sick. Alright. I don't want to get too excited and then just end up staying up for way too long again. To bed way too late last night. Then this comes on over here. This is there. And then we need to make this like a pretty dark colour. Just to evoke that it is the mountains. Because look, it can kind of get a bit lost over, over here. That's right. It's kind of in the distance anyways. Like, it'll start to reveal itself more as we come over here, but... So, we've got the before and after. I'll get rid of, like, some of this stuff. So you guys can see it nicely, but... Yeah, that is what we've done. So far. That looks decent, eh? What are we saying? Uh, okay, I'm back. Women online, uh, live, life on recruit difficulty, and that's... Oh, love life on, I kind of know what you mean, but I think I know what you mean, Tom. Um, yeah, they do. Like, just girls, just, uh, if you're going to live stream or play games or do it, you, even YouTube, I don't know. It's just like they've got like a two times multiplier on it. They just go, poof. Um, oh my, that is so beautiful. I would like to make a video on YouTube on AI, but I don't uh, disturb my feed on photos. Take no plug, but I don't. But I don't disturb my my feed on photos. Ah, uh, okay. Um, we'll just post it to your story then. Yeah, I do still kind of learning through Vivian, mean, learning myself online, but currently still using Canva as my aid. While I'm, while designing something shapes or characters, when I can't find the items I want. Oh, nice. Okay, so you're teaching yourself. Yeah, good. I taught myself everything as well, bro. You just you just do it, and when you don't know something, you just search it up, and then you learn, and then you implement that, and then it becomes muscle memory, and then you just keep going. Uh, could grind out on Twitch and do a live stream every so often on YouTube just to update. Yo, Chris, I'm going to head out. Have a good rest of your night, bro. Tom, thank you very much for joining in, man. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon, bro. No worries, whether it's on House Party or whatever. Um save oh yeah no shit <laughs> fucking good point um port. <laughs> yeah it's like my own followers need to remind me to save my artwork thank you so much bro appreciate it um we're gonna stop the uh recording because that's as much work i'm gonna do tonight but I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. It's not going to take me too long to do the rest. Um, that looks dope. You should show your export settings and whatnot. Honestly, I just export like this. I go file, export, export as, and then either I, I export as a uh, PNG. I usually click use artboards uh, because that just, it literally cuts off anything that's outside the artboard. Uh, and then and then I click uh, other and I go like 500 ppi which means it's like really high quality but Instagram uh, lowers the quality anyways but yeah guys that's looking good I I'm really happy with the colors um, I probably yeah I'll probably finish it tomorrow I'm really keen to see the uh, uh, what's it called I'm really keen to see this green because it's even kind of orange over here and uh, I like how it just goes off into the distance. So this here is really going to create the detail that I put into the trees is really going to make this uh, really going to make this artwork. And um, yeah, overall, because, because because it literally separates the uh, the larger shapes of the sand and 
the sky. So I reckon I will actually put a bit of detail into like this kind of stuff over here. And then as it comes out, I will put a little bit of detail into like that kind of stuff as well. So it's gonna look really good, uh, really happy. Oh, thanks for the advice, you guys. Good night, Chris, have a good one. Uh, live stream again tomorrow. Yeah, I will, okay. Yeah, I'll live stream again tomorrow. I'll probably do, do it more kind of like towards the afternoon, maybe around like four o'clock. Cause if I could do it at four, then I could probably do, I could probably do like maybe like, uh, like yeah, even like I could do four hours on like four o'clock my time. I don't know if that works out for you guys, but I could do like four hours on this if I needed to. I doubt I would need to, but that means I would be able to get this ready for a post tomorrow. It's gonna be three posts, but like whatever. Oh, have a good one. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate uh, everything that you have done over the past few weeks. Uh, you guys really motivate me to create more and more, and I'm, I haven't enjoyed making uh, vector art more than I have right now. So yeah, I can't wait to just be providing you guys with more content and um, yeah, teaching you guys what I love doing best. Uh, remember the competition has now started, so this is probably a good initiative and um, motivator for you guys to go start and create something cool and creative. And yeah, I guess I will see you all uh, tomorrow if you want to join my live stream around then, around four or five o'clock. Uh, yeah. Have a good one. Thank you for live streaming, Chris. Love watching your vector eyes. Oh, so satisfying. Really nice uh, to be hanging out with all of you, especially you guys that hung out from the start. This has been going on for how long? Uh, I can't even see how long it's been going for, but I'm pretty sure it's been going for like two hours or some shit. Yeah, two, nearly three hours. Three hours. Three hours of hanging out with CK. That's what we love. Awesome. All right. I love all you guys. So thank you very much. Um, Everyone that's saying good night now. It is Rodrigo, Ken, Lydia. Love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one.